senior North Korean diplomat has said Pyongyang will not hold talks of any kind with the U.S. Choi Sonny, the regime's director general for North American affairs, said they will not be giving up their nuclear weapons and stressed Washington needs to accept North Korea as a nuclear state. North Korean diplomat Choi Sonny was speaking Saturday in a closed-door session at a conference on non-proliferation in Moscow. She reportedly said Pyongyang will not respond to any proposal for negotiations such as the six-party nuclear talks until the U.S. ends what she called its hostile policy towards Pyongyang. According to an anonymous participant at the session, Che said the North is living under constant threat from the U.S. and that processing nuclear weapons is a matter of life and death for the reclusive state. She added that those threats from the U.S. have made Pyongyang only more certain that it needs nuclear weapons to defend itself. See what happens. Now, with that being said, we're prepared for anything. We are so prepared like you wouldn't believe. You would be shocked to see how totally prepared we are, if we need to be. Uh, would it be nice not to do that? The answer is yes. Will that happen? Who knows? And concluded that Washington has no choice but to accept that North Korea is a nuclear state. Che is North Korea's Director General for North American Affairs, and her remarks on Saturday are in line with those she made at another meeting on Friday, when she delivered a statement to the press. PPRK's nuclear weapons are non-negotiable unless the U.S. is prepared to coexist with the nuclear DPRK, because this is the only way to ensure lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula and the stability and security in the Northeast Asia. South Korea's deputy nuclear envoy was also at the conference, as well as several former U.S. officials, prompting speculation that there could be interaction of some kind with Che. Seoul's Yonhap News reports that although she is said to have greeted the South Korean diplomat informally, no formal meeting was arranged. Japan's Asahi Shimbun also reports that she did not respond to a Japanese official's request for a meeting. She did, however, hold separate talks with Oleg Blumistrov, a senior Russian official. Wonjowan, Arirang News.